Hi, my name is Jonathan, and I am a photographic artist, and I'd like to briefly give you my philosophy on photography as a medium of art. Because last night I went to the Buckwheat Festival in Preston County, West Virginia, and they had this huge art exhibit there, and half of it was photography. And it was part of this art competition, and the winning photographs in this art competition were these typical photos I've studied before in photography that are too good to be a good photograph. Like, there is a point where a photograph can be too good to actually be good. Like, the type of photos I'm talking about are these types of photos that make you feel that the photos themselves are better than you as a person. Like, a good photo is supposed to, your soul and your heart is supposed to enter into that photograph and identify with the scene or subject matter in that photograph. Like, that is a good photograph. Like, um, a good photo is not supposed to make you feel that the scene or subject in the photo is unreachable. And like, a lot of photography does that. Um, it takes this scene or subject and takes it on a different plane so that it is, it is unreachable to your own reality. Like, you cannot identify with the scene or subject in that photo because it's too good. Um, like, a good photo is supposed to ignite within you a radical acceptance of your immediate environment. That's what makes a good photograph. Like, a good photo is supposed to express a different way to look at the world around you so that you appreciate where you're at now instead of you wanting to be somewhere else. Like in a good photograph, um, your soul and your heart can identify that photograph so that your immediate environment, where you are at now, takes on a different reality. So that in that photograph, that photograph expresses where you're at now in a deeper, in a deeper way, a deeper reality. But a lot of photography is just so good, it takes you beyond your own reality so that you cannot identify with where you are at now. Like a lot of photog photography does that and it's really bad. Like photography is supposed to bring you into, to participate in like a copulation with the world, with your own world. A good photograph leads you to participating in like, I use a lot of sexual metaphors to describe mysticism. But a good photograph makes you feel that you are having sex with your own reality. Um, your own immediate environment. Like, that's what a good photograph can do. It makes you feel like you're copulating. That you're having sex with where you're at now. But a lot of photography makes it feel like um, something you could never attain and never experience. That makes it a bad photograph. Um, so, like you've probably heard the saying, a picture is worth a thousand words. But what I like to say is that where you're standing right now is worth a thousand pictures. Like, just taking that saying and flipping it over, instead of saying a picture is worth a thousand words, where you are right now, where you're standing or sitting right now, all around you is worth a thousand pictures because there's so much beauty all around you where you're at now. I mean, you do not have to travel thousands of miles to take a good photograph. Where you're at now, there is so much beauty around you right now that you can take a photograph right now and it can be an incredibly beautiful picture because right now where you're at, now, present moment, here and now, is beauty. Beauty is not something far away, something that, another place, another time, that is not beauty. Beauty is here and now. So, like, you can take a photographic vacation, like, go on safari, like I've been on safari in Kenya um, a couple times. Um, you can just take a photographic vacation and you can still take a lousy shot. Like, you can still take a lousy shot of Mount McKinley or Mount Everest or whatever, and it can still be bad. Like, where you're at now has the potential to have... Your environment now has the potential to have a much better 
beautiful photographic shot than, say, you going to the Caribbean and taking a shot of, like, um, the beach or palm trees in the background like that. Uh, like, how I practice photography is I seek to get in touch with my own subconsciousness when I'm taking pictures. Like, being in communion with my subconscious. Like, I take my camera everywhere with me, and when I feel being in touch with my subconscious, when I feel ecstasy in my spirit, I know that my subconscious is saying to take a photo of what that is. Like, when I'm looking through the viewer and taking a shot, I do not click the shutter until I feel ecstasy, until I experience ecstasy. Um, that's a matter of trusting my subconsciousness. So, when I feel this rush of ecstasy, I take that shot. And later on, when I develop the film, or process the film, later on, do I find out, find out why my subconsciousness liked that photograph. Um, either seeing um, golden ratio here, or seeing a triangle here. Like, later on, I find out why I took that shot. Like, I like to study, I'm not talking about triangles, I love triangles um, in a photograph. I love the, the golden ratio, the divine ratio. So that's one thing I look for in a photograph, studying triangles and golden ratios. And I also like, with my photography, expressing contrast in my photography, because that is the nature of my own spirit. Like, my birthday astrological sign, June 10th, um, expresses this, the extremes between dark and light. And that's who I am as a person, is... I experience the extremes of dark and light in my life and in my spirit. So I like to express that in my photography. Expressing that, expressing contrast, severe contrast in photography. I also like expressing bright colors in photography because I am a sensual person. So that's all I wanted to say was a good photograph, a good photograph is, um, leads you into what, what you're experiencing now. Like, if it's too good, I think I explained that. I'm getting on a tangent. Sorry. But I wanted to give you um, my two websites for my photography. Maybe you can see what I'm talking about. Hopefully it's good enough. Like, two websites for my photography. Pinterest.com slash Jonathan47 and the other website JonathanBohemian.com minus.com slash uploads. Um, I'll write that in the comment section. But uh, if you're a photographer, that's awesome because I love photographers. And uh, I hope that your photography expresses your own reality and not a reality you want to... to uh, what I guess what I'm saying is um, when you take your photographer and you take a photograph, let the photograph take you into a different, a deeper reality to your immediate environment. If you try to take a photograph and it's, you feel like it's better than you, it's, it's separate from your own reality, then that is a bad photograph. So, that is all I wanted to say. Thank you.